Welcome to edX world and another video in the IGCSE accounting series. The entire syllabus of IGCSE accounting has already been covered. You can check out all the lessons in the playlist. This video is going to be on correction of errors where we see one solved example and four MCQs at the end of the video will be shown. The answers to which are there in the description box below. So when you see the question on the screen, make sure you pause the video, solve it on your own and then you can start resuming the video see how I analyze the question and solve it and try checking it that with your own answer. Once you start doing this and start solving questions on your own, then you will see an improvement in your mistakes. You will see that you eventually start getting the questions right. But if you do not attempt to solve on your own, you will not see that improvement in yourself. So today's question that I have for you is here. Let's read the question, analyze some parts of the question and then start with the answer. A trader has prepared his trial balance the trial balance has not agreed. Definitely there are going to be some errors. The question says that the debit total is exceeding the credit total by 7940. This will be useful when we start preparing our suspense account. The opening balance in the suspense account will come from this information. The income statement has been prepared and the draft net profit has been arrived at 48,500. This will be useful in calculating our corrected net profit later. A list of errors have been given. We will analyze the errors and go to part one which says that prepare the journal entries to rectify the above errors. Narratives are not required here. In exam, if they tell you to write the narratives, make sure you do write the narratives to not lose any marks. Let's start with the journal entries. The first error says that the sales journal was overcasted by 1260. The practice is that the total of sales journal is credited to the sales account at the end of the month. When the total of the journal is overcasted, it means the extra credit has been given to the sales account. This can be corrected by debiting the sales account by the extra casted or extra total amount. Now, when I debit the sales account on the credit, I will use the suspense account. So my journal entry would be sales account debit suspense account credit 1260. The second error says that a credit purchase of 3200 from Gillies Limited has been omitted from the books. This is a two-sided error and under that, if we want to categorize it, this error, it will be an error of omission. So to rectify this error, I'll just pass the correct entry or the actual entry for this transaction credit purchases from Gillies Limited, which will be purchases debit Gillies Limited credit. Our third error is check from Gumtree Limited 9100 was a debtor has been correctly recorded in the cash book, but no other entry has been made. It means the amount is not credited to the debtor's account. So we will credit the debtor's account Gumtree Limited and give the debit to the suspense account. So suspense account debit Gumtree Limited credit. Next error is that discount allowed of 1200 has been entered on the credit side of discount received account. Actually, it should have been entered on the debit side of discount allowed account. So we will debit the discount allowed account to give the correct treatment of it. We will also have to debit the discount received account because it was credited in error. So to rectify that, we will have to reverse it. We will have to give the debit to the discount received account and the total credit will be given to the suspense account of 2400. So discount allowed debit 1200, discount received debit 1200 and suspense account credit 2400. Next, machinery was purchased for 56,000. This has been entered in the purchase account. If you remember, two-sided error, this is an error of principle. Incorrect accounting principle has been followed. A capital expenditure has been treated as a revenue expenditure. So to correct this error, we'll have to debit the machinery and credit the purchases account to reverse the incorrect effect. So purchases debit. So machinery debit 56,000 and purchase account credited by 56,000. Next, it wants us to give depreciation on this asset purchased 20% straight line method. The calculation of depreciation will be rate into cost 20% of 56,000, 11,200. And the journal entry, if you remember from our lesson on depreciation videos, the journal entry for depreciation is income statement debit provision for depreciation credit. So we will debit our income statement, credit our provision for depreciation account and the amount would be 11,200. Last, stock to the value of 2,500 has been taken for personal use by the trader. The effect was given correctly in the drawings account, but no other effect has been given. If you remember the journal for stock drawings, drawings debit purchases credit. 
drawings has been debited but purchases has not been credited so in this transaction we will credit the purchases account and give the debit to the suspense account 2500 we have completed our rectification of errors we've passed the journal entries required to rectify the errors let's go ahead to part b and prepare our suspense account to prepare our suspense account we'll use the same journal entries to understand the effect on the suspense account we need to start our suspense account with the difference in trial balance. When there was a difference in the trial balance, the difference amount was put in the suspense account to balance the trial balance for the time being. Now, if you read the question, it says that the debit total exceeded the credit total by 7,940. Hence, there would be a credit balance in the suspense account of 7,940. Why? Because the trial balance side which has a lower amount, suspense account is recorded or put in that column. Hence, on the credit side, we start with difference in trial balance, 7,940. Let's go to our errors and analyze the errors and put, the, put them in the suspense account. In the first error, suspense account is credited. So, the credit side of suspense account, sales in the details column and 1,260 in the amount column. The second error has no impact on the suspense account. It's a two-sided error, ignoring that for suspense account. In the third error, suspense account is debited. So on the debit side of suspense account, Gumtree Limited 9100. In the fourth error, suspense account is again credited. So go to the credit side of suspense account. Discount allowed would be recorded as 1200 and discount received 1200. A total of 2400 is credited to the suspense account. The fifth and the sixth error have no impact on the suspense account. They are two-sided errors. And the last error, last rectification entry, suspense account is debited. Go to the debit side of suspense account, purchases 2500 in the amount column. Once we are done with recording the entries in the suspense account, let's take a total on both sides of the suspense account and see if there is a further balance left in the suspense account or both sides are equal and there is no balance left. So when we take a total on the debit side, we get 11,600 and on the credit side if we take a total again we get 11,600. Since the total on both the sides are same we can say that all the errors have been found out and rectified. There could be some errors which are two-sided which may have which may be present in the accounts and they are not yet found out but at least all the one-sided errors that were affecting the trial balance have been found out and rectified. Let's go on to our part C where we were supposed to calculate our corrected net profit for the year. So we have our format here for calculation of the corrected profit for the year. We will analyze the journal entries and then see the effect on the profit. See if an error or a correction entry of the error has an impact on the income statement or any account that is eventually transferred to the income statement, it will have an effect on the profit. And if a transaction does not have any effect on the income statement. For example, if in a journal entry that is rectifying entry, you only have a balance sheet account like a debtor, a creditor, a non-current asset, but no other account that is eventually transferred to the income statement, it will have no impact on the profit. So let's analyze the journal entries and then we will put the amount in the in our format. So first entry is sales is debited. When sales is debited, we are trying to reduce our sales for the year. Sales is a credit account. When sales is debited, you're trying to decrease your sales for the year. When sales is decreased, profit will obviously decrease. So in our format, we will put this as a negative amount, indicating that this will decrease our profit for the year. In the second error or in the second rectification entry, purchase is debited. When purchase is debited, you're trying to increase your purchases. When you increase your purchases, your cost of sales increases and your eventually profit will decrease. So this will also go as a negative amount in our format. In the third transaction or third rectification entry, suspense is debited, Gumtree is credited. Now none of these accounts are eventually transferred to the income statement. So here we can say that there is no impact on our profit for the year. And fourth one, discount allowed is debited. So our discount allowed is an expense which is increasing. So there will be a negative impact on the profit by 1200. Discount received is debited again. It means that you're reducing your discount received for the year or you're reducing your income for the year. When income is reduced, again, the impact on profit is negative. So a total of minus 2400 in our statement for this transaction. In our fifth error, our 
machinery is debited now machinery has no link with the income statement it is not transferred to the income statement but a purchases is credited when purchase is credited you are decreasing a purchases when purchase decreases cost decreases profit increases so this will have a positive impact of 56000 on a profit for the year so plus 56000 in the sixth entry it's a depreciation entry we are charging a depreciation expense for the year so depreciation expense will obviously decrease the profit so minus 11,200 for entry number 6 and finally we have the last one where purchase is again credited. I told you when purchase is credited, it's, it has a positive impact on the profit because purchase decreases, cost decreases, profit increases. So plus 2,500. So starting from a draft profit of 48,500, when we add and subtract these adjustment amounts, what we get at the end as corrected net profit for the year is 88,000. 940. Hope this video was able to give you more practice on this topic and made concepts better. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, please share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon. I will keep on uploading weekly videos in this series. So make sure you do not miss it and I'll see you soon. Thank you.